Are you looking for something different? Are you driving to work every morning and saying to yourself, hmm, what could I do to pass the time? Well, here's a show for you. Weekdays, Monday through Friday. Have faith, let it begin. It is a show designed for you, the daily commuter. Motivational topics, inspirational stories, personal testimony set out to change the world. Join us every morning live at 7.30 a.m. Because this is a show all about faith. My name is Angel, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. On June 16th, 2018, I launched this show. Have faith, let it begin. Join me each and every weekday at 7.30 a.m. live because this is a show all about faith. Motivational topics, inspirational stories, personal testimony designed for you, the daily commuter. My name is Angel and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. 30 seconds to go. Hi, I am Mia. You are listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hi, my name is Isabella, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello, my name is Amari, and today we are back on another episode of Have Faith and Let's Begin. Ten seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my name is Angela, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hey, this is Freddie, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another special edition of Have Faith, Let It Begin. Do not adjust your audio. This is my voice. I am still sick, but as I stated in my comments, the show must go on. Folks, today is Tuesday, July 30th, 2019. And as usual, my routine continues. I'm getting out of my car. I'm heading into my parents' house because they're still away. They finally returned today. And hopefully they're listening to the show this morning as they drive um, back from Florida. And mom and dad, if you're listening, I miss you. And I'm excited to have you back real soon. So at this time, I'm just going to take a few seconds, if it's okay with everyone, to let me get in the house. And greet the dog. That's why I'm here for. Hi, good morning, Lucky. How are you? Come on, let's go outside. Yeah, and then later on, my brother will follow up and then do uh, the afternoon takeout, and then I'll do the evening. Come on. So, folks, I just want to welcome each and every one of you uh, to our show and also remind you some business before we get started with today's episode. Remind you that we are available every single weekday, Monday through Friday at 30 a.m. And we are available on all platforms. When I say platforms, iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio. There's different types of platforms. Google even takes us now. We have our own like page at Have Faith Let It Begin. We have our own web page, HaveFaithLetItBegin.com. You can email me directly, angel at HaveFaithLetItBegin.com. And if you don't um, know about your Apple phones... Apple has its own podcast app already installed. Go right over to that icon, push it down, and then go in and select Have Faith, Let It Begin. By doing that, it gives you an opportunity to sign up and subscribe. Our show is free. We do not charge at all. So everyone, just to let you know, that's how our show is able to be reached. And we look forward to having you on every single weekday with us. Monday through Friday. Now, real quick, I'm going to take a pause while I cough. Okay, so also want to remind you that right now on our Half Faith Let It Begin like page, we have available the sermon that took place this past weekend. It was entitled, You've Got Mail. Um, it is now circling all over the uh, social media outlet, and you're more than welcome to check it out. We hope you'll enjoy it. And we hope that each one of you will take the time. Let's pause for sponsor identification. And we'll be back with our lesson. Hold on. (laughs) 
All right, here we go. We're back. That's something new now. It is going to be adjusted, so I won't have to do that moving forward. What's going to happen is now there's going to just be an additional um, sponsor request, but it won't happen till the end of the show. I'm working on that. So just today, there was a quick sponsor release. You probably didn't hear it on your end, but it's just a gap so that later in the future, if I want to re-air this episode, it will automatically filter in a sponsorship. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. We took about seven minutes for everything there. We actually got on the air a little early, too, for our pre-show, but we didn't have any um, audio on that. We just had music. So technically, we're about four minutes in to today's episode, and we're going to get started right now. I just got to put my seatbelt for safety, my microphone back on, and here we go. Folks, on this Tuesday, wanted to talk to you a little bit about something that transpired yesterday that I saw and witnessed firsthand. I think I've spoken about this before, but it's just really um, becoming more and more evident on how much um, this tends to occur in our daily lives. So for that, I want to cover it. I deal in, in the phone industry, and I deal with different types of customers that call up. Yesterday, I had a young lady call me up, and I did my greeting. As soon as my greeting was completed, I never, ever had another chance to speak. The lady began to yell at me and pretty much use words that I would never use on this show. Here's the part that really concerns me the most. It wasn't so much that she was being disrespectful to me and using foul language. It was the fact that she took it upon herself to blame me for something that was really not my fault. See, what happened was this. She had been moved around and circulated in many different locations. Let me give you more specific. She was claiming that she was constantly routed over to um, different locations. So, for example, if she asked for a department, they brought her to the wrong place. Has that ever happened to you? More than likely? Yes. If it has, there's nothing worse than being transferred everywhere. So, she thought maybe it was time since she got a hold of somebody, it was time to unleash the wrath. I had to pause again for a cough, so I apologize. So, she started to curse, basically telling me that I was the one in charge of transferring her. Meanwhile, it was the first time I even took her call. So, I tried to get a couple words in. I tried to cut myself in and excuse myself, and she wasn't happening, having it. My supervisor was there the whole time, witnessed it. Finally, her last words were, transfer me. Well, the problem was, she spent all that time complaining about where she was being misrouted. She never could disclose to me where she wanted to actually go. So I didn't have an answer for her, because she wouldn't let me ask her, where do you want me to transfer because in her opinion, her opinion, she thought I knew where she was supposed to go. So she hung up on me. And it got me thinking. Why is it that so many people get so angry so fast? Mind you, she has every reason to be upset because she was being misrouted and mistransferred. I get that. But why is it that we take it out on people that maybe there's no possible way they were responsible for it. Why should the people that inherit the call inherit the problem and feel the wrath from others' mistakes? So I got to thinking even further. How many times have we jumped the gun on situations? How many times have we said things to other people without realizing that maybe they weren't responsible? How many times have people did things or said things about others only to find out it wasn't that person. It was actually the person that was accusing. You know, it's very troubling to me to work in different types of environments, different types of places where it feels as if you're walking on eggshells, where it feels as if daggers are made directly for you, are sent to you. And sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes 
there's just too many to shield. Now, I'm not talking about myself in general stating that I'm not happy where I work. I'm just saying the facts. And the facts are, everywhere we work, at any given day, at any given Sunday, there are people out there that try their very best to make our lives more difficult, to challenge us, to challenge our faith, to challenge our way of thinking. It is important that we continue to use our words and to keep focus and keep grounded. It is important that we do not allow anyone to steal that joy. Do not allow people to change who you are. Don't think about where you can be five days from now, six days from now. Think about today. Change the way your attitude is if you have an attitude. Change your fuse. Don't let it be short. Don't let it be quick. Allow yourself the opportunity to take a deep breath, realize the situation, and present it in a calm and a timely manner. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I'm sorry that I continue to be sick, but as long as I feel well enough, the show will go on. May God bless you and your families. Have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we (laughs) She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Don't forget, everyone, we're available Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. And we're going to have a primetime special coming up this week where I'm going to re-air and redo the sermon You've Got Mail. If you haven't had a chance, subscribe to our show, share it to your friends, and get involved in our social media accounts. Get involved in our Half Faith Let It Begin like page. There is nothing like it. And if you haven't had a chance to take a look at our website, please feel free to do so. HalfFaithLetItBegin.com My name is Angel, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. God bless you. Bye-bye. Are you looking for something different? Are you driving to work every morning and saying to yourself, hmm, what can I do to pass the time? Well, here's a show for you. Weekdays, Monday through Friday. Have faith, let it begin. It is a show designed for you, the daily commuter. Motivational topics, inspirational stories, personal testimony set out to change the world. Join us every morning live at 7.30 a.m. Because this is a show all about faith. My name is Angel, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin.